Hi folks, welcome to MTS. I'm in process of rewiring my 1948 original Lionel post-war layout. Today, I'm gonna to work on this section here, it's the remote section of track. So the wiring here is pretty crispy, as you can see on the back side of the layout as well. I have my replacement wire and we'll basically cut this section out and then I'm going to work on disassembling the RCS controller. Uh, we'll resolder it with the new wire and have everything ready to go. Well, so we're going to go ahead and just give this a cut. Yeah, nice and crispy. Okay. And we're going to cut over here. Okay. Okay. There's the old wire. And then we're just going to pop this off. Just like that and pull that out we'll just take this down to the workbench for today's project we're going to use some wire skinners flathead screwdriver got a black sharpie some solder and a soldering iron as always when using any kind of soldering iron or heated tools be sure to exercise caution also have my replacement wire I've pre-cut the ends just to kind of expedite our process here um, but we'll strip those down here in a little bit on the back side of the controller uh, you'll have you'll want to remove these two screws with the flathead screwdriver and this is where you also want to note uh, your wiring section so we're just going to go one two Three. See how we're already messed up. <laughs> there we go. So make sure you're starting on the far end. One, two, three, and four. Uh, the way this is actually is put together, and once we take this plate off, is a uh, it's actually stacked. So once you remove that those pieces actually makes the resoldering process uh, a whole lot easier. Okay, we'll go ahead and remove this plate. And as you can see, pretty pretty simple. So we're going to remove this screw here, and as I stated, it's it's stacked on the inside. Let's see if I can see where you can see that. So. So each wire is actually hooked up to one of these sections. And that's where we're gonna mark. So like I said, we, we started out with number one on the end here, and that's going running to this very top one. So I'm just gonna put a just a single dot on that one. Like so. And then we'll just kind of keep track as we go along. So we'll go ahead and remove this screw. And the washer. And we're just going to make sure we keep track of these insulators that go in between each one. Okay, so there's the screw in the washer. We've already marked the top one, but here's one of these little, it's a square insulator. We're going to set that to the side. We're going to remove this one. We've already got the dot marked on it. So we'll just remove that to the side. And then the next one is actually the number two wire. So we'll remove the insulator. Going to mark this one with two dots. 
Also, it helps the orientation because you can actually f uh, flip it if you're not careful. And I believe it had this little plastic insulator on that end. So we're going to mark this. This is the third wire. So I'm going to put three dots here. Other insulator here and then that leaves us with the last insulator I'm going to remove that this is number four I'm going to carefully remove that I'm just going to kind of leave the buttons inside of there okay now that we got all those all of that disassembled we're ready to desolder these pieces. So we're just going to put a little heat. Again, mind your. You got to be careful. Exercise caution here. Nope, not going to work. Let's try something different. All right, a little bit more safe here. So we're going to just going to put this corner of this piece in here. Snug that just a little bit. There we go. And I'm just doing a small section, gripping it in a small area here, just because um, I don't want to mess. There's already a bend to some of these pieces. I don't want to mess with that bend. In this case, the solder's already come loose. So there we go. strippers. We're just going to cut off just a little bit on each end. I'm just going to twist the ends of them off. One, two, three, and four. We'll start off here with number one. Get some flux on a, on a toothpick. We'll find the solder. Okay, and we'll get number three. And see what I did? soldered the wrong wire to that. So this is number two, I'm on number four. We'll get that a 
not done and redo it again. We'll do number three. Now we're ready for reassembly. Okay, so here we go. We have the uh, the fourth. Well, our, our dots are on the top. This just fits around there. And we have an insulator. We'll go put the insulator on. We'll go find our number three, which is right here. Put the next insulator on. Number two, which is right here. Oh, hold on a second. I already see something I'm doing wrong. You want to make sure that those dots are facing up when you're putting this back together. There we go. Got our insulator. And we have number two. Later. We have number one. Make sure our dots are facing the right way. Again, we just met, made another mistake. There we go. Dots are facing up. Insulator. Oh. Be a little tricky getting it back together. Final insulator. Get your screw, your washer. go good as new we'll put the plate back on make sure your divot on the plate is going is facing down see the divot right there and then you want your your writing the uh, stamped writing facing up Just want to snug these screws definitely don't want to over tighten them they're just going into a plastic piece all right 
Yes. I was able to just pick up a few of these. Um, for today's video, I'll show you how to do that. And I already know that I have enough of a cutout where I can actually feed these in one at a time to be able to connect it back to my remote section of the track. One thing I did want to show you is how I was able to come up with these without this plastic sleeve on it. So basically I just did took one of these connectors out of the Harbor Freight Special <laughs> and just take give a little heat to the plastic. Just give it a little twist and pull. And there you have it. Separate these wires separated on the end so I can pull them apart. So take our skinners. What I found was that you can just go in here like this and then fit that end. Just kind of keep it secure. Crimpers. Crimp these down. Just to hold everything in place. device here. A little flux. And I'll do that for the other four. Okay, and then we're just going to do a quick test. So I've got the multimeter set to 2000 on the ohm side. We'll do a quick little test here. There we go. And I'm just going to test one pair. This should be the unload. And as you can see, I'm not seeing anything right now. And then I'm going to hit the button. There we go. So that's successful. Then we're going to do the uncouple side. All right. So we're good. As far as this video goes, we're going to call it a night. We're ready for the layout now. I hope this video was able to help you out or at least show you another method to keep in these classics on the layout. Thanks for watching and I'll see you down the line.